You guys are always asking me to take a closer look at um, cast iron. It does sell for a lot of money, doesn't it? All right, well, I decided that today I was going to keep it local. I had a bunch of stuff I had to finish up this morning, and now I am out and about. And we are at the Hamden Township Goodwill. Mechanicsburg Goodwill, I've called it in the past. Um, but we're going to head in here and see what we can find to buy and flip for a profit. And if we strike out here, we're going to go down the road uh, to the other Goodwill about 10 minutes. So let's go see what we can find. Okay, so there isn't a whole lot here on the shelves, but maybe we'll find something. The first thing I noticed were these glasses, and I thought that maybe they were like glass, recycled glass, but they're definitely plastic, so it was a bit anticlimactic. Here is an applied handle green glass pitcher or creamer for $1.99. It's probably $8 to $12. I think I'm going to skip it though. I kind of like the looks of those pillar candles back there. Made in Thailand. $1.99 each. And I think I'll pass on those as well. We will find something, I'm sure of it. Here are a pair of Frosted Angels. $1.99 each. Okay, oh, I see some uh, pie servers down here for $2.99. I can't remember if that's a Taylor Smith and Taylor design or not. $2.99. And $2.99. I wish I could remember the name of this pattern, but I can't. I feel like those might be worth picking up. But um, I'm not positive. I haven't ever bought and sold these before. But we'll still give them a shot. So I'm going to stick them in my cart. There's a Holly Hobby egg that is full of something. It looks like it's sealed. You know, I almost wondered if they are just weighing it down with whatever's inside. Or maybe it's gold, I don't know. <laughs> There's a quail. Something else. Oh yeah, this. Unfortunately, you can see there is a crack. That looks like it could be a vintage planter down there. Let's check that out. There's no markings on it. How much is it? $3.99. I suspect it is vintage. Um, it's not really an exciting pattern though. This... Mm, no. I thought it was <laughs> Fort Marion. There are a pair of Foo Dogs and they are marked something. That's some... I don't know what that means. UCCC maybe. <laughs> Taiwan. But anyway, it's $2.99 each. We've done well with food dogs in the past. They're in good condition. This sweet little graduation mouse down here. It's just a uh, figurine for $3.99. Oh, what is this? How did I walk right by that? For Grandpa's Pride and Joy. $1.99, it's a bank. Oh, that is adorable, isn't it? It's $1.99. Okay. It looks like it wants to be a hole. Oh, it is whole. <laughs> $2.99 for the hull. Hmm. I don't see any chips and cracks on it either. Well, that's exciting. I think we're off to a good start. Okay, well, I was noticing from the other side these copper cook, cook pots. Where are they marked? Made in Turkey. They're really heavy. They see, I feel like they're fancy. So, I don't know. I don't do much with cookware. They're $10 each. But I don't know, I guess let's grab them. Only that one is made in Turkey, and I think that the lid to that one is on this one. Those ones don't have any markings. I kind of wish I could swap the lid. Because I'm almost certain that this uh, hammered copper lid goes with the hammered copper pot. Now. I think, you know what, I think I'm going to leave it. I've never really gotten into cookware and you guys are going to be like, those are $100 pots. I just, I'm, it's outside my element. Mountain Vernon, Virginia, that is a souvenir. Here is a bag full of fish, but they are plastic fish. Yeah, they're all plastic ones. And look, here's two more pie servers. I guess this may have been somebody's collection an interesting thing to collect. That 
is plastic. I thought maybe it was made in Italy. It's a trinket dish. You asked you. $29. What? $29 for a trinket dish? I'm curious uh, what the brand is. Then <laughs> it would be $29. Butterfly Meadow Soap Dish. And then under there, it looks like it says Blue Sky. So that's kind of crazy. I don't know. <laughs> I guess I should pick it up if it was $29. I mean, if I was to pick that up, I would tell you guys, oh, that's worth 8 to 12 And it's got butterflies on it. There are a... F oh, I guess that's not a pie plate. That's just a tin undecorated. There's a pie plate. Pumpkin pie. Oh, look at those plates. Welcome to Jocelyn being oblivious to things. Fondeville ambassador wear. Those are fancy. They're $1.99 each. Look how heavy that gold is on those. Let's look them up. Couldn't find any on uh, eBay, so I switched over to Worth Point. And this is a paid service that I that I pay for. Um, it looks like in 2012, a set of a set of seven for $250. Here's the more recent one. This is 2021. And you can see that six of them sold for $90. So, I don't know if they're really worth it. They are really nice plates. That is a hobbyist piece. 1982. The initials are MPF. That's who painted that an advent wreath and it has a sticker on it so let's check out that sticker it says it is oh made in italy vegetaria something i don't know do i need an advent wreath how much is it a dollar 99 i guess we could pick that up i wish i knew that maker i almost walked right by that that looks like costa boda with that swirl. Oh look, it even has a sticker there. <laughs> Dollar ninety-nine. It's in good condition too, the white swirl. Notice that there are two of these things on the shelf. What are these? Wolford hand blown glass. Maybe I'll look that up. Wolford smokes. <laughs> these are sold listings. $148. Where was that other one? Oh here it is. Goodness, $1.99. There should be a set of three. So I'm scanning the shelf to see if I can find the third one. <laughs> Where is it? It's got to be here somewhere, right? I'm sure it was set, sold in sets of three. Unless one broke, and that's why they donated them. I'm going to find it. Okay, well, I covered the shelf pretty thoroughly, and I did not see the third one. So we've got at least two, and the profit looks pretty good. Looks like a hand-turned bell. What does it say? Hmm. Jerusalem. It's a souvenir piece. And here on the bottom shelf is a tile. A decorative tile made in Vietnam. Okay, that's a little bit anticlimactic. I got all the way down here. Okay, so on the end cap here is the silver and black section because our Goodwills all sort by colors. That is a flashlight. What is this though? Oh, it's one of those things. <laughs> Lotus Flower brand, $12.99. I'm not sure about that. Some sort of wall plaque lurking underneath this tray. So what is it? It is a pheasant. I thought it was a parrot at first and I was excited. But pheasants aren't as cool as parrots. Okay, well here we are in the holiday section. It's a nice mix of Easter, Thanksgiving, every holiday that you could ever ask for. Um, but I'm not seeing a whole lot of new stuff since the last time we were here. So, oh look at that little gnome down there. He's kind of sweet. <laughs> He's got a uh, barcode on there though. This is a neat decorative pumpkin. I think I saw another one of these on the shelves. They're kind of made to look folk arty, but they're not. Backtrack a little bit because I noticed this. Oh, it's a stamp holder. House of Drill? Prill? And porcelain. Has little piggies on it. What is that thing down there? It's $30. Oh my gosh, is it cast iron? <laughs> 
<laughs> it's so heavy. What does it say on the bottom? Lodge USA. Oh my gosh, 30 bucks. You guys are always asking me to take a closer look at um, cast iron. This is me taking a closer look at it. I might even look up comps. Okay, well now I see why you guys are always telling me to look at cast iron. It does sell for a lot of money, doesn't it? Um, this one I've got here is very large. I have no idea what it even is besides a giant cooking thing. Um, <laughs> so I'm just scrolling through here looking for giant cooking thing. Kind of maybe like one of those without a lid. Hmm. Maybe the bottom has some clues. So I found the hint on the bottom. It is P14W. It looks like the highest one sold for 75. Um, it sells between 50 and 75. Now, I'm going to put it back. I know there's still quite a bit of profit to be made there at $30, but I'm looking at how heavy it is, how big it is, what a pain it's going to ship, and I'd so much rather pick up a food dog <laughs> and make that money, then pick up this and make that money. So, back on the shelf you go. But here's another lodge piece, and this is a bunt pan, but it's not, it's cast iron. So we're gonna look that one up too. There you go. That's, that's the ticket right there. $30, but there's two sold. One sold for 125 and one sold for 200 so. This is me embracing the cast iron. Right there. <laughs> and it's small enough that it'll fit in, you know, maybe a 12, 12, 12, versus that, which would probably be a 16, 16 something. So I like this one more. I've never been here before while they were stocking, but they're currently stocking the shelves. So I'm not gonna rush right out of here. I'm gonna poke around a little bit longer. I don't know why I keep coming back to this, but I'm just gonna continue to walk. I don't remember if that canister was there or not. I was so focused on those pillar uh, candle holders. $2.99, there's remnants of a more contemporary sticker on that. It's kind of cute. I guess that's like a garden piece maybe? The door is actually open and shut. I wonder what its purpose is. There's no markings or anything on it. Maybe it's a birdhouse? I'm not exactly sure. Looks like a winter's cottage. Cats and Lee's Grammar School. Hmm, Hawthorne. Something, something. Wilton. This is like an aluminum, though. It's not cast iron. <laughs> so I'm just going to set it back down and look at this cactus. $2.99 for the cactus. I wonder where his friend is. Probably not here. Here's a cast iron pan down here. It actually has flowers glued into it. This was an art piece. It's marked on the bottom. Taiwan. Okay. Well, that's not it. That's not as bad as if it was one of those that you guys are always reminding me to look for. <laughs> Looks like it could be macrame. Oh, it's a little anticlimactic. <laughs> I mean, it's cool, but I don't know. I remember when I get to the checkout that I put the cast iron on the bottom of the cart because I'm a little worried I'm gonna like wheel it out <laughs> with a $30 pan down at the bottom. That right there looks like a Starbucks mug. $1.99, oh, it's got a chip right there. That's a shame, <laughs> I was excited I spotted it. And uh, it looks like that Stangle vase is still there too. I love that color. Those are neat pieces of art. There's a pair of them. What does it say on the back of that teak? That's what I thought it was. $1.99 handcrafted in Taiwan. I think $1.99. Kind of got some mid-century flair to them. They're very colorful. What are these guys even doing? Oh, it looks like they're out on a river or something. Possibly in a boat. And it's out. Uh, the fabric's actually stretched over board. A few times I was here, I didn't really pay the artwork much attention, but after that, I feel like we need to delve a little bit deeper into the artwork. There's some Pooh Bear. 
Jesus down there. <laughs> Super painting. All right, I think I'm satisfied with the artwork. <laughs> I'm not seeing a whole lot. Plain brown teapot. Globe teapot. And then the saucer there is missing its cup. Is that there? Oh, it's made in China. I had a, I was having flashbacks to that time we got that purple um, bee heart at uh, the Goodwill in Fogelsville, I think it is. And uh, that one was actually by a really well, well-known potter, so that was really exciting. But not this case here. That was definitely not there before. That is so cool. It's $6.99. It's made out of wood. Looks like there are some condition issues there at the lip, but... They, did, they actually did a kind of a nice job of blending that. I think maybe that's uh, the residue that they used to stick the beads to. That is so colorful and so fun. I didn't even look at the price of it. $6.99, but I'll grab it anyway. Another piece that doesn't look familiar. It's a decorative piece, $2.99. It's like three kings or something like that. It's a stamped metal. $2.99. Okay. Alright. This is exciting. Like I said, I've never been here when they were stocking before. And look. A new cart just came out the door. Ah, oh, it's got a, a missing thorn. What is this? Schmid. Oh, look at that. It's, oh, it's music hold too. I wonder if it plays. Not know until we. Oh, there it goes. It's starting to play. It's hard to hear it over the music, though. Looks like they've got another bin wheeled out here. I figured I'd take a quick peek. Maybe we would look real quick. Lots of decorative pieces. Ooh, what is that? Oh, just a brass vase. I don't think there's anything in there that I like. Okay, on that note, I think I'm going to head up towards the checkout and I'm going to get back to you guys in the car with our total because I still want to get to the next Goodwill before I have to go pick up the kids from school. So I'll see you in the car. I got in the car my glasses actually started fogging up because it was so cold in there and it's so hot in my car. Um, I feel like we did really, really well today. Uh, we scored on a couple pieces that I had to look up that I wasn't really all that aware of um, but I know I'm gonna do well with that cast iron piece that I got even though I paid $30 for it I could potentially make $100 profit um, as well as those those oil lights um, unfortunately there were only two but I think those are also gonna be a big ticket so I'm really happy with everything we got today they were still stocking when I left um, but like I said I want to get to the next goodwill before I have to go grab the kids I'm out of breath because I carried all that stuff out to my car. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I am going to end it here. And you guys are going to have to wait for the next Goodwill just because we're already running a little bit over. But I um, hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see all of you tomorrow. So long. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. In case you spotted something you just can't live without, we do post 25 to 30 new items in our eBay shop every single day. And I've posted a link to that down in the description.